In-depth coverage of today's guilty verdict in the Jaisal Correa trial continues. Less than an hour after the verdict came down, past and current elected officials in Fall River began reacting to the news. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni caught up with current and former city mayors and city residents. She joins us now from Fall River with what they're saying tonight. Anita. Well, a lot of the charges stem from Jaisal Correa's time here at Government Center. Now, what past and current mayors of the city of Fall River say was a dark period comes to an end. They say the community can now rebuild its reputation. There's no reason to celebrate. This isn't good for anybody. A guilty verdict on 21 out of 24 counts brought against former Fall River Mayor Jaisal Correa quickly made its rounds across the city. Fall River's current mayor, Paul Coogan, calls the entire case and trial a struggle for the city to go through. We, we have to work together with local officials and put the focus back on what's better for the community. That chapter's gone and we got to move for, Fall River forward. Among the charges, Correa was found guilty of extortion, wire fraud, and filing false tax returns. The 29-year-old did not testify in his own defense. That goes down as one of the most corrupt mayors in the history of America. Sam Sutter also once occupied that corner office in Government Center. The former mayor not surprised by the verdict. You consider uh, how young he was, uh, the talent that he had, and what happened, yes, it's, uh, uh, for better or worse, uh, it, it has Hollywood written on it. Some of Correa's former constituents say he got what he deserved. Because I'll tell you right now, for him to do this to the people of Fall River is sad. With sentencing a ways away in September, the current mayor of Fall River says it gives Correa time to think about the crimes a jury has now found him guilty of. In Fall River, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. And after the verdict, we talked to Correa's predecessor and the current mayor. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni continues our team coverage from Fall River. Now, three past and current elected officials of Fall River say they are just ready to close this sad chapter of the city's history and to move forward as a community. The man that once occupied the top office at Government Center, now guilty of extortion, wire fraud, among other charges. The verdict now parting the dark clouds that hung over Fall River for years, says the city's current mayor, Paul Coogan. It is something we're trying to put behind us, though. Sentencing for the 29-year-old is scheduled for September 20th. Correa will have to wear an ankle monitor until then. It's going to be a long summer for him because he's going to have to think about this every day and uh, where he's going to end up. And I'm looking forward to the day where uh, we no longer have to talk about this and, and we're moving on as a community. The verdict not surprising for the city's former mayor, Sam Sutter. Oh, I just hope that people don't sort of right off Fall River. I think this is something that the leaders of the city have to try to drive the city past, that this was an isolated individual who was thoroughly corrupt, and now we're changing. One of Correa's former constituents originally believed he was innocent, but as the trial went on, she explained the evidence changed her mind. Because we really believed that he was going to make a difference, and he didn't. Now, elected leaders are using this as a clear message to current and future politicians. If you break your oath of office, you will have to answer to your crimes. In Fall River, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.